I can't tell you how many times I've seen drivers go out and set a blistering pace early on, only to find out that most of the blistering was done to their tires. And once you've burned up your tires, you're nothing but a sitting duck. To win races, you need to be more than just fast. You also need to manage your tires. I think the best way to manage tires is, uh, is to know when you're abusing them. If you don't know that you're abusing them, being able to manage them is basically impossible. Uh, I think obviously there's fast guys that can make the tires go away quick or there's fast guys that can, can control them. You need to ha use steering input to a minimum to control the, uh, the usage of the tires. Managing the tires. There's some guys that are great at it and some guys that just just mash their foot to the floor and, and go. Um, if you're blowing the tire off all the time, I guarantee if I sit behind you, I'm like a shark, right? The first time I see you lock that, fr that front wheel up and I'm behind you, I smell blood. I know you've just made your first mistake to 10 more mistakes. And if I see you getting sideways three turns in a row, I know you're gonna be a sitting duck. You need to be under control the whole time. Don't lock it up, don't overdo the rear. Um, try to maintain your position because in 10 laps, you're gonna be better off than the guy that was manhandling the car for sure. Again, it goes back to being smooth, smooth is fast. Um, having the car as straight as possible on the exit of the corner and applying the throttle, throttle uh, slowly, but uh, you know, very precisely. Um, tires are definitely probably the biggest variable in a driver, uh, especially in endurance racing at the 24 hour of Le Mans or the 24 hour Daytona. There are a lot of guys that can run two or three really, really fast laps and make a headline and be at the top of the sheets on fastest lap. But really what the car manufacturers are looking for is a guy who can put a whole hour or three hours together and be consistent through the traffic and make his tires live. So certainly emphasize having the cleanest tires at the end of the race, whether you're autocrossing, racing go-karts, or you're already in Formula cars. Um, the cleaner your tires, the better you're gonna be when you get to the higher levels of racing. It's so easy um, to burn a set of tires off quickly and lose a lot of time. You know, there's, there's a lot of people who can be fast on a new set of tires, but ultimately the person who usually ends up winning the race is the fastest throughout the whole stint, the whole life of the tire. And that could be just backing off a couple percent when the tires are, are um, good or, or anywhere throughout the stint just to keep them under you, not sliding them, um, you know, not wheel spinning them, not locking up the tires, you know, all those sort of, sort of things will ultimately, maybe not over the course of a lap, make you faster, but when you add up that over the course of a stint, it'll definitely make you faster. You know, if you're, if you're having a, a tire problem, um, the first thing is to be smooth. Don't, you know, don't be aggressive with your hand. That may have worked in go-karting, but it doesn't work in these cars. You have to be very smooth and gentle with your hands. The other thing is, and this is the hardest thing for people to understand, but is to keep a clear head. It's very easy to make mistakes when you know something's going wrong, when you know you're losing a tire, uh, something's wearing out, whether it be the right front on an oval or, or whether it be the rear tires on a road course. The easiest thing to do is make a mistake, and so you have to keep a clear head to make sure that you can get it home. And, and if someone's pressuring you a lot, just drive your race. Don't focus on what's behind you, focus ahead. And I think that that's, you know, ultimately that's the key number one. All right, guys, we're leaving that right rear on. It's all three of us. Yeah, yeah. To warm up tires, it's more effective to do braking in a straight line and accelerating in a straight line. We'll put more heat in the tires than actually swerving will. And uh, swerving is something that you see that really is more effective to clean debris off the tires. Okay, actually warming the tires, uh, again, straight line braking and accelerating actually puts more heat in the tires because also you're heating the brakes up and that helps transmit heat through the wheels into the tires. So that's, that's going to heat the tires up quicker than swerving. Typically what I do, you'll see a lot of guys just yank the wheel back and forth. I will, I will turn the wheel and brake and then release. Turn the wheel, brake and release. And what you're trying to do here, not so much is slide the tire to heat it up, it's to stretch the carcass. And that's one of the most important parts of, of warming up the tire is actually stretching that carcass. Have it make grip, but flex. And that's gonna create the friction within the tire to heat it all the way through. If you're just spinning the tires and, and sliding the front with, you know, pushing, 
pushing, pushing, pushing, and then spinning the tires, what you're doing is you're heating up the surface and you're actually gonna, you're gonna create a, a, a big difference between what the, the sidewall is and the contact patch is, and that's actually gonna feel quite a bit different than stretching the carcass out while braking and, and uh, slowly getting on the gas and off the gas. You can even drag the brakes to heat up the rotors, which will heat up the rim, which will heat up the sidewall and the contact patch. You gotta be safe, but you gotta be right on 110% concentration. You feel every move the car makes, you hear every sound that it makes. If something sounds off, you go, oh my God, hope it's not something serious. And most of the time, uh, it's not. But if you do find something, uh, you gotta be careful and you may wanna come in.